Y'all, what's good? Today's topic is about Young Draco. You feel what I'm saying? Soldier. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Now, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Soldier Boy's response to Young Dolph passing away. Well, as y'all know, Young Dolph the Rapper had recently died at a cookie shop. You know what I'm saying? Sad to say, you know. But anyways, Soldier Boy didn't have the best of friendship with Young Dolph, and they really been having tension lately it wasn't serious tension but it was just tension enough to spark instagram and social media in general uh soldier boy didn't have the best response that you know somebody can have when somebody passes but i'm here to talk about it uh young Dolph had made a uh, comment a while back this is weeks prior to him dying saying that uh he's the only rapper that's independent that has did such and such right and Soldier Boy, y'all know Soldier Boy. He calling out anybody and everybody that that he the first to do with everything. Everybody know that about Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? The dude, Soldier Boy, is the dude that made crank that Soldier Boy. You crank that Soldier Boy. You feel what I'm saying? Um, he likes to claim a lot of things. She make it clap, clap, clap. That dude is what I'm talking about. If you don't know for recent songs, anyways. Um, he likes to claim any and everything that somebody tries to say they did. Uh, Lil Yachty said that. He was the first to record an iPhone. He gonna bring his Soldier Boy gonna bring his receipts every time and show evidence that he was the first to do it. And so Young Dolph said he was the first to do something that was independent, and Soldier Boy wasn't happy. So he called him out. He didn't really call him out. He just justifying that he ain't the first to do it. I done done it too. Whatever you done, I done done too. So, you know, Young Dolph was really affiliated with, you know, gang type people, and they didn't like that. And you know, they gonna back him up at all costs. So that caused uh, a tornado of beef. And DMs from Soldier Boy and Young Dolph affiliates. So Young Dolph affiliates is hitting Soldier Boy up on that crazy stuff, right? And they just, bro, threatening him, saying, bro, we gonna come get you. We gonna do this. We gonna do that for no reason, like just going crazy just because of the statement he made. Now Soldier Boy, you know, being Soldier Boy, he getting the yapping back. He like, boy, whatever, boy, stop talking to me. I'll pull up, boy. You can do this. You can do that. So they yapping. So they not on good terms. Now to um. Fast forward all this, Young Dolph ends up dying, right? Boom. So first off, people try to put this whole situation on Soldier Boy for a quick second until they realize, like, come on, bro, it's not Soldier Boy. But they really try to turn this on to Soldier Boy. So Soldier Boy responds, and it's not the best response for you getting accused of the situation, even though they knew it wasn't him, but just even kind of getting accused for the situation. Like it's just kind of deja vu that you talking stuff, and then next thing you know, this happens. But we all know that he ain't had nothing to do with this. He he makes that he makes it very clear that he didn't. But he dropped a song that was like it was like it was basically a diss song and like a this is what happens if you mess with me type thing. Like kinda veering it over to this is what happened to Young Dolph because you were talking trash to Soldier Boy. And that came, like created a big altercation between Young Dolph's affiliates and, and Soldier Boy in general because they already was mad at Soldier Boy for his comments. Now you speaking as if, like, well, not even speaking. You're dropping a song as if you had something to do with Young Dolph's death after you already had tension with us. So, they really get sparked up, and they in Soldier Boy's DM going crazy. Now, they like, bro, we going to pull up on you. Boy, you better watch your back. You better do this. So, in response to Young Dolph's death, Soldier Boy is like this, man. I don't care what none of y'all say, bro. I don't owe that man nothing. Man, I, I don't I don't feel bad for this dude. I don't care that he's dead, that he passed away, this and that. And he really just showing no remorse. It's like no remorse at all. Soulja Boy does not care at all. He's really just like, forget this dude. And then he's like, if the if the tables were turned and he was on the other side, everybody would be laughing at him like, ha ha, Soulja Boy, you shouldn't have been talking. You shouldn't have been doing this. You shouldn't have been doing that. You shouldn't have been on social media saying this and that. So he basically saying people wouldn't have supported him and have his back. He said they would have been laughing at him. So he not finna just support it when it when it's somebody else so he wasn't going for it so he kind of was like yeah y'all can feel sad now and, and yippee and, and now give, give y'all condolences but he not going for that he ain't giving no condolences he's not showing no remorse he don't care about the situation bro it's not his people and his people shouldn't have been talking to him he basically just was like bro i don't care what y'all want man don't come to his house he popping you if you come to his house and he he tooled up and the situation happened young Dolph it ain't happening to him. He ain't going for none of that. <laughs> Cause Soldier Boy, he's the big Draco. <laughs> he was not playing about it. As sad as it is, uh Soldier Boy was not playing. He's standing on what he's standing on and he, what he says what he said. And you could tell he wasn't playing. 
Um, he didn't, like I said, he didn't care about the situation. And that's how that went. It was just crazy to see him give that response. I thought it would be like, you know, I know, you know, most rappers, they have all this beef. But then when somebody actually passes or dies or gets shot or something, it's kind of like, all right, bro, you know, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way, bro. It's more than just beef, bro. Let's, you know what I'm saying? It's about the culture. Uh-uh. So your boy wasn't going for that. And he felt like it hit home for him. And he wasn't putting up with that. Mm-mm. And he wasn't going to say sorry or feel some type of way. He wasn't going for it. So, yeah, that pretty much concluded that. Nobody really said too much to Soulja Boy other than, come on, man, why are you being disrespectful like that? You could at least just, like, say something more, like, professional. You didn't have to just go crazy. But, you know, Soulja Boy going to stand on what he stand on. So, that went out one ear, out the other with them saying that. Um, but, yeah, um, that was pretty much it on that topic. Y'all tell me what y'all feel about when people beefing, but then one of them died. How does the other rapper supposed to respond to that situation? Are they supposed to be like, bro, man, it didn't have to be this way? Or should they be like, forget you still. It's still up. It's beef still. And I don't care that you did. How y'all think it should go? I personally think it should just be squashed when somebody had actually dies. At that point, especially if you didn't have nothing to do with it. But it should be like, dang, I didn't mean to get this far just with some internet beef. Da, da, da. But Soldier Boy not on that time. He said he felt like he was getting harassed and he was getting threatened into DMs. He wasn't having it, bro. So that condones and remorse th- stuff was out the window. But, um, yeah, y'all give me the feedback on that. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next video. Yitty.